one dad. He's making sure that the game keeps going for his son. He actually built a baseball field right in his backyard. Didn't whiff one. Take a look. On this normally quiet street in Brookfield, Jason Kidd yeah. has become the talk of it. This is the best thing to happen in this neighborhood in a long time. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> I have no idea who that is. Random cars aren't stopping because they think he's this Jason kid. Yeah, I'm terrible at basketball. This Jason is more of a baseball guy. <laughs> so I built this instead. This being a baseball field, he built right in the middle of his own backyard. Yeah, never too much baseball, right? It features everything from infield clay, regulation bases, to perfectly straight foul lines, Jason paints himself. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing right. Have a field of dreams reference, he's probably heard it. Thousands of people online, if you build it, he will come, all that stuff, oh yeah. But unlike the movie, Jason wasn't hearing voices in a cornfield that encouraged him to build this. All he heard, was the voice of his five-year-old son. He asked if we could build a baseball field in the backyard. Mm -hmm. I kind of blew him off. And then the idea got bigger. And then the next day I started thinking about it. And bigger. Next thing I know, measuring to see if we got room. And bigger. Until finally. Now I got a baseball field. In total, the field has already cost him about $30,000. Yeah, it probably wasn't the smartest financial decision, but that's okay. It's baseball. But for Jason, the money doesn't stack up to the memories made passing on the game that he loves to his son. It was my uncle and I. He taught me baseball and got me to fall in love with the Indians in baseball. And I played growing up and you know he coached me and now here I am getting to, you know, getting to do it. It's pretty cool. Sometimes the love for the game. As he grows up, he doesn't have to stop playing. Is the only explanation. It's nuts. Yeah, it's wild. But here we are. Yeah, I love it. Well, back here at Play Ballpark, uh, right here in Cleveland, and I mean, this great little ballpark they have here, but Jason, he is not done with his ballpark right now. He's actually going to be adding a warning track. He said he wants to add a fence and also a scoreboard as well, and Jason, he's an old school. This will tell you something about Jason. He's an old school Indians fan. It's not progressive field. It is strictly the Jake, so his field, it is the re-Jake, so that's what he's naming it, and uh, he's trying to keep all the dimensions correct as well there, but I mean, what a special time that that he can do this for uh, for him and his son as well. And just playing a great game of baseball. That's yeah. great. And I just picture that line of cars like in the movie Field of Dreams, yes. when, you know, right at the end mm -hmm. when there's just like a line of cars ready we to build see it, it and they will come. That's He's right. going to have that one day. Austin, what a cool story. Looks Thank like you. it's going to be a little more than 30 grand too if there's going to be a scoreboard <laughs> right? and all that other stuff. Bleachers, huh? you know, yeah, concession stand. Wow. <laughs>